Hey there guys, it's me dfc 6 here back with another video and today we are going to be unboxing the SR850 Professional Studio Reference Headphones by Samsung not Samsung, Samsung now this is actually being recorded on a Samsung Galaxy S10 5G so this is kind of funny considering it says Samsung anyway, so what I've done is I got it in like an Amazon bag and um, just unravelled the Amazon bag you know did the little tear thing and yes it was an amazon bag like a pla like a cardboard bag not a cardboard box with one of those pull straps i've had them both anyway let's get in so right off the bat you can see a bit of product stuff so you can see name and address for importers well thank you and then we've also got the owner manual. Uh, showing you, do not use this excessively. Oh, and we've also got this. Fell out. Online product registration. Yeah, okay, no one cares. Uh, basically, it's telling you how not to use these. I need to page two to three. Let's see the features. <laughs> A bunch of shit that I can care about. So there you go, there's all the audio stuff, features for you, audio files. I'm starting to get to know one of those people. But I've seen a video by Dank Pods and uh, I thought I'd go and get some because these look quite nice. So here is this gold plated, that is a very nice cable. So you can see that's, So I just had that completely out of shot, that's... Uh, we leave it's called a five inch jack. Audio people come at me if I'm wrong. And you can see it unscrews to a three point five millimeter jack. Which nine times out of ten I will be using this three point five millimeter. You can see it's got a nice little thing of green there. That's kinda nice. Anyway, let's get the headphones out of their packaging. Come on. So then first thing I look at is these ear cups. They feel very nice. You can see it's like got leather and then it goes to this kind of material. Got like nice little tilty things, adjustable um, bands on the side. Yeah, that's how it works. Kind of like that. But yeah, give me a second to sort out everything and get everything organised and I'll give these a test. So I have literally just plugged these in. You can see the cable going down. I've got them on my head. i got Apple Music so I'm just going to hit Browse. I'm going to find a nice song and uh, I'll get playing and I'll come back to you on how I, how they are. So after listening to uh, one song, <laughs> giving it, mm, give it a while and I'll get used to them. And yes, before you say I have had a haircut, there you go, ta-da, you found out. Well, yeah, funny enough, my video recorded on these Sony earbuds, whoops. These are the ones you can kind of see them, hold on, let me attach them because they're magnetic. These Sony earbuds uh, was recorded literally yesterday, and now this is recorded today, so I always had it overnight. But, um, initial thoughts on these headphones. Ignore my phone, I'll just put on the charger. I think for the grand total of 36 Great British Pounds, these headphones are very good. There's not too much bass, which don't go wrong, I love bass, so if there's more bass I wouldn't complain, but I would mention it. There's not too much bass, but there's not too much of everything else. Like, it's all, like, good, it's like... <sighs> so imagine, like, your typical pair of, like, cheap headphones having that range. It would be like that, whereas if these have a bit more, so it's good for like audio mixing and that, which is could be my main purpose for these. I'm going to use it for um, when I do garage band and stuff like that. Um, but for music, for just general listening, it's not too bad. I mean, I listen to a song that's got a bit of bass, a bit of everything, and they're quite good. Um, with regards to the design of these... Um, is like when I was speaking then I noticed a difference from when I had them on my ears to putting it here I don't know what you describe that as um this headband is very comfy I must admit very very comfy I would use that headband day in and day out 
Um, what else? The ear cups. The ear cups are nice. And this like mesh foam kind of. Oh, it's like a really nice and soft material. They're really good. But I mean, you can see that they can actually go to any size head. Uh, you can also make it go higher and lower, like automatically does it. It's spring, I believe it's like a swing mechanism. It's like a piece of material. If you look very closely, there's a piece of material. Oh, I got that out of frame. There's a piece of material right. Where is it? Right there, and you can kind of see it. It's like a little springy material. So yeah, I mean, all in all, very nice. I would highly recommend these, considering the price they are. They've got nice swiveling ear cups, which I can't show you because I've got them both together. You can see swivels, so it's quite nice. And you can see these aren't just going to go snap in like seconds. These are going to last for a while. Uh, the cable is really nice and long, not too long, but it's got a good amount of cable. And there you go. Then you go to the headphones. And the weight of these are quite light, like. Just to give you an idea, oh, I've got the cable tangled in my hand. Uh, they're quite light, but not too light. I just love distractions. Um, but yeah, I think for the price of 36 great British pounds, these are very nice. And also, I just noticed this on the ear cup, there's a nice bit of padding. Which, compared to my Power A gaming headset, which I also did a review on. Uh, two years ago I'm going to say um, it's nice to have a bit of padding I use that headset quite a lot until I got my Sennheiser GSP500 in my computer but it's quite nice so uh, yeah woo Jesus do I recommend these? yes are they comfy? yes are they good to use? yes am I going to do a follow up? most probably but I mean yeah like chuck them on your head ta-da we even go more further but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. I highly recommend these. And uh, check out some other videos. If you like me doing headphone reviews, I've done many others. I've done earphone reviews for the WI... I believe it's the WI XB400. I believe that's the one. I have the WI C300s. I've got... Here we go, I found the box. Did a video review for these. That was yesterday's video. Yeah, I got these within two days of each other. I had a bit of an audio mood on me when I went on Amazon a while ago. Um, I got Sennheiser GSP 500s, which I don't think I did a video on. I've got a Power Eye gaming headset. I've done Bold Tune, uh, Active Noise Cancelling. What else have I done? I've done one more. Skull Candy Crusher 360. Those are base. Those are base headphones. If you ever wanted base headphones, those are the ones to go for. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, all that usual stuff. If you didn't like it, then I'm sure the dislike button also works. But yes, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.